I built my physique working out twice a week. Here are the six best exercises for minimalist training. The first exercise is the squat. The squat is the king of muscle building exercises. No other exercise is gonna put more muscle and strength on you than the squat. Unless you cannot perform the squat, you should be doing it consistently. You should be squatting once per week. Mastering the squat and then doing it on a consistent basis is a linchpin of successful weight training. Anything in the fitness industry that isn't new and shiny gets dismissed. Squats are one of the oldest and most time-proven exercises. They aren't exciting, there's no hype around them, but in the world of building muscle and strength, there is nothing new. In the pre-steroid era of fitness, they worshipped the squat. The squat was looked at as the king of all exercises, and if you wanted to build an impressive physique, you had no business not squatting. They worshipped the squat so much that they didn't even call it the squat, they called it the growing exercise. The squat will develop great legs. It targets the glutes, quads, and adductors. These are some of the body's biggest muscles. But the real reason why the squat is so effective is because it's a full body exercise that places a ton of stress on your body. The squat will put a lot of muscle on you from head to toe. They work an enormous amount of muscle in your body and they are very demanding. It's for this reason that they are so effective. This also makes the squat one of the most efficient bang for your buck movements, which is important if you're trying to maximize your efficiency in the gym. The next exercise is the weighted chin up or pull up. There's arguably no better exercise for developing an aesthetic body than the weighted chin up or pull up because it develops the V taper, giving you a broad shoulder appearance and a wide upper back. Weighted chin ups and pull ups are also one of the best biceps exercises. Women have a natural inclination to find the V taper attractive. From an evolutionary standpoint, the V taper is a visual cue to biological fitness. A man with a V shaped physique is perceived as strong and healthy. Chin ups and pull ups recruit a ton of muscle in the upper body because they're closed chain movements. Movements. Closed chain movements are where your hands or feet are fixed and your body is moving through space. And closed chain movements recruit more muscle mass than open chain movements, which is where your body is fixed and your hands or feet are moving through space. And an example of an open chain movement would be a bench press. The next exercise is the bench press. The bench press is the king of upper body exercises. No other exercise will pack muscle onto your chest like the bench press will. It works a huge amount of muscle in your upper body. Along with hitting the chest, it also hits the triceps and shoulders. If you want to look good in a t-shirt, you need a well-developed chest, and there's no better exercise than the bench press to achieve that. If you want to build your dream physique working out just twice a week, pick up my free minimalist muscle building masterclass. It's the first link in my description. The next exercise is the seated dumbbell overhead press. Round shoulders are the most important factor for a stunning physique, and the way you develop round shoulders is through heavy overhead pressing. This is an exercise that many people often neglect in the gym. Most people think that shoulder isolation work is enough to develop big shoulders and I disagree. In the 1950s, the overhead press was the king of upper body exercises. This showed in the physique development of that era. Old school physiques differ from today's in one big way shoulder development. The bench press wasn't very popular in the pre-steroid era. They gave the overhead press more attention. The bench press only became more popular afterward. You could see the difference in physique development when this shift occurred. Bodybuilders started to become very chest dominant, and ever since then, chest and arm work has become the priority, but the issue with this is that it creates a boob-like appearance. Great shoulder development is very rare in natural lifters, and the reason being is because very few people prioritize heavy overhead pressing. The next exercise is the the Romanian deadlift. The Romanian deadlift is up there with squats as one of the top muscle building exercises. It's a full body exercise that places a lot of stress on your body and works an enormous amount of muscle. The Romanian deadlift will thicken up the entire backside of your body and give you rock solid glutes and hamstrings. The next exercise is rows. Rows are crucial for developing a thick upper back. Chin ups and pull ups will give you the width and rows will give you the thickness, which will complete your back development. I don't believe that there's one row variation that stands head and shoulders above the rest. I think most rows are great exercises and fit the bill. Some examples can include bent over barbell rows, cable rows, seal rows, or hammer strength rows. 